All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us uh, for another episode of Jackman Radio. I am so excited today. Uh, we are joined by legendary filmmaker, producer, writer, actor, uh, the president of Troma Entertainment and co-founder of Troma Entertainment, Mr. Lloyd Kaufman. Lloyd, how are you doing today? Well, all I can tell you is uh, the audience should give, give Jackman TV, uh, Jackman uh, uh, Television a, a hand, a big <laughs> hand, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand. Yay! <laughs> well, that's, radio. That was probably the only, the most intelligent part of this uh, conversation that you will get. <laughs> we could all use ready. a hand these days. Yeah, that's true. That's very good. <laughs> you have your finger on the pulse, Eric and Mike. We do. You know who got a lot of hands, Lloyd, was uh, my good friend Bob Kraft down in Florida. Boy, he got a lot of hands. Oh, he, my he gosh. Sure did. Yeah, terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, Lloyd, we're very excited to have you. We really appreciate you being here. And, uh, um, you know, how, you, how, how are you? How you doing? How you been doing through all this shit? Uh, well, 24-7 um, with my beautiful wife. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> what could be? Yeah, exactly. What could go wrong with that? What's it? I, I started the, the pandemic with one doctor. I now have about eight. It's oh, all, boy. everything's falling apart. I, 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 who knows, shoulder replacement, sinus thing, teeth, brain, dementia, the whole thing's all going right. on. So uh, uh, luckily, my, my wonderful wife of 47 years has been a very good caregiver. That's great. Well, you look great, Lloyd. It's nice to see you. It's been been a few years. It's been a few <laughs> years too. since we... We, uh, we had a, maybe, uh, uh, Eric, your father, uh, I think, drove us somewhere once. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll never you. forget that drive as long as I live. <laughs> I won't and, either, uh, man. That was, yeah, yeah, I was I was in fine form, man. Oh, well, we uh, that, just, Justin Martell, the producer of Hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm, has uh, uh, immortalized you uh, with uh, the scene uh, – uh, um, that uh, you have to see the movie. I don't know if he's showing you the movie, but there yeah, was yeah, some I... very fine regurgitation in the uh, film. <laughs> and uh, that's all inspired by uh, you, Eric. Yeah, it's all because of me, and that, that, that ride uh, from New Hampshire to Logan Airport with you and my dad and, and myself. <laughs> yeah, that was great. And again, I, I'm, I'm sorry, did your father die or somebody's father died? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm so Tony. sorry to hear that. Thanks. Yeah, Thank he you. passed away in January of 2017. So oh, it's uh, been four years. Yeah, but that he really, um, man, he he had a blast doing that. He he remembered that fondly. We always look back on that fondly. And <laughs> he's like, yeah, Eric, you're, you overdid it the night before, and you're bringing Lloyd <laughs> to the airport, and you're friggin' puking your guts out, and yeah, it, well, it, it was, wouldn't have been a trauma experience, though, honestly, Lloyd, if I hadn't have done that. You know, no, qu no question about it. It was uh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, I mean, especially uh, considering trauma, uh, you know, the aroma due trauma, uh, you know, that's kind of in our wheelhouse. Uh, here, I'll show you sort of, uh, I don't know if you can see anything here, but this is sort of where I work. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, Lloyd's office, everybody. That's the famous trauma building, trauma headquarters. Uh, can you see uh, the uh, Dickie, uh, the Dickie, the... Uh, Chicken from uh, hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm, you see? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, cute. Uh, yeah famous, it's cute. Uh, famous pig. Uh, I can't remember what is his swordfish that goes in somebody's eye. Uh, I think. Bjarni? This might be uh, Hillary Clinton here. I can't remember. <laughs> but, uh, at any rate, uh, giving you a little tour of my desk is all these. All this is fan art here, stuff that came in in the last month. Uh, <laughs> And uh, we we have we got a storage place, but uh, some of it you can you can get a rough idea. My yeah. working my working conditions. <laughs> yeah, I've I've had the good fortune of uh, visiting the Troma building a few times, and uh, oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, a lot, lot of fun. And and um, like you were saying, you know, Eric uh, appeared in uh, hashtag Shakespeare shitstorm and. Uh, I had a lot of fun back in t summer of 2012 uh, filming a small role with you for uh, Return to Newcomb High, uh, well, uh, Volume well, 2, I think I appeared. Thank you for doing that. And uh, what what part, where did you uh, play in Newcomb 2 and uh, return to return to Newcomb High? 
Uh, so it's it the did? scene. Uh, it's outside Chrissy's house. I was one of the journalists that was trying to get a call. Oh yeah, her. yeah, of course, yeah. of course, of course. <laughs> yes, that's a funny scene. We uh, we we put in a lot of uh, uh, outdoor noises. Uh, have you seen that film? I have. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, showed it to yeah. Me. Oh, good, good. Yeah, that's a crazy film. That yeah, was, that was a pretty crazy film. Volume and, two is uh, definitely off the wall. <laughs> thank you for doing it. And uh, uh, Eric, uh, the um, uh, Trump imitation is spot on. I hope you can. They, the media seems to be doing everything it can to uh, to help Trump. They just keep publicizing him over and over. So I would imagine you're uh, you you can still get gigs. Huh? Oh, absolutely. I just had a, yeah. a big corporate one uh, a couple of weeks ago in Mystic, Connecticut. I went down there to a big conference for uh, Anderson Window and roasted their sales team and their yeah. vice president of sales. And then That's I got great. booked. Oh, it is. It's it's still it's still going, man. And then I got booked again for this weekend. I'm going to a uh, country club up here in New Hampshire for a woman's 60th birthday party. And uh, I'm going to go do some roasting. Yeah, the guy told me all kinds of great information about all the people that are going to be there. Some pretty personal details. So I'm going to weave that all into a nice 20-minute speech and do some roasting, terrific. pose for pictures, and just act like a big orange clown for an hour. That's terrific. Terrific. Yeah. Uh, but, Pat and I saw the commissioner and I watched, uh, my wife and I watched uh, uh, Borat uh, <laughs> with the Trump uh, piece, and it was, uh, we thought of you. <laughs> oh yeah that was yeah the, the, the borat sequel was amazing with rudy and and yeah uh, they went to, to cpac they were at mike pence and oh. they really they had they had their number there yeah that was that was that was ballsy that they, they did I, that I, I how did they get in i just still can't quite figure out how they uh didn't he wait in the bathroom mike you know about that right yeah, so he got to CPAC like hours early and hung out in the bathroom, and he actually had to listen to a lot of guests go and use the bathroom while he waited for his moment. And uh, <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> he was able to get through security and then crash Mike Pence's speech, which was definitely <laughs> well, one of the highlights. People, some people enjoy uh, the bathroom for that very reason. Uh, yeah, so tells from the crapper. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, anyway, that was, that was great. Uh, and... Uh, 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 he was great in uh, the uh, the uh, Borat himself was great in the uh, the uh, seven uh, you know the one about the oh the Chicago Seven the Chicago, Chicago Seven yeah that was a good movie yeah that was yeah. really good I I enjoyed uh, Michael Keaton as uh, Ramsey Clark I think he had a small role it was they awesome all, they all were great they all were, I didn't even I didn't even know that uh, Borat was in the movie I couldn't recognize him he did such a good job and also the guy who played uh, uh, oh crap! There's another major one. Oh, the guy who played the, uh, I think was he the main lawyer? Yeah, I think he was. He played the the uh, main lawyer, uh, the British guy uh, who's so good. Oh, uh, yeah, he's he's been in a boat. He was in, I think, Dunkirk. He played the captain of a small or, or a, a civilian boat in Dunkirk a couple years back. But yeah, James something. I, I forget his name. Oh, no, no, he, it's another name. I'm thinking of somebody Eric else. Eric can look it up. I, I know, I know the fellow you're talking about. He did Twelfth Night on uh, on Broadway, where he had men dressed up as women who were then playing parts of men. Eddie so Redmayne. Men... What's that? Was it Eddie Redmayne? No. No, but he's great. He's terrific. No, this is an older guy. And he played uh, the uh, famous lawyer who defended this Chicago 7. Uh, I can never remember his name, but he's also in uh, the Hilary Mantel uh, 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 shows uh, based on her best-selling books. And they've been on Broadway uh, also. Uh, uh, he... It's terrific. Anyway, let's go back to <laughs> Uncle Lloyd here. Yeah, speaking of men playing distracted. women, uh, <laughs> I got to say, Lloyd, your turn at, your, as Antoinette Duke and and uh, Prospero. That, that's, uh, I mean, that's that's one of the greatest of your career, man. That was uh, <laughs> you, you, you pulled it off, man. Triple duty, you know, <laughs> with directing and playing two important integral parts. And uh, the, I got to say, the legs look good too as Antoinette. 
<laughs> I think uh, I was a better looking woman uh, than I am as a man, to be honest. I was I think I definitely, there was there was definitely an allure, you know, so there was a real alert to it. And when I, when I was with you on uh, uh, the set for a day, you were just, you were running around, man. The energy was, I couldn't believe your energy. You were in that costume all day that had the, the boobs and the dick and everything coming <laughs> off of it. And your hair was all crazy and... Oh, what a what a great memory that was to to do that. Well, it was just, just so much fun. It. Thank you so yeah. much for for uh, joining the uh, Trauma family there. And uh, it was we had the best acting, the best crew. Everybody was a hundred percent, you know, uh, uh, wanted the film to be good. And uh, I, but it was a rough production in that uh, very you know do, we didn't have really enough money to do it the way you know we, we so. Uh, you know, we had these uh, unending. Well, you were there probably eighteen hours or something. So uh, Brooklyn you know, Fire. Were, yeah, yeah, and these. And at the end of the movie, I actually had Vertigo, um, which mm. is one of one of my favorite movies of all time. And I I wrote the Sugar Cookies as a uh, reimagining of Vertigo with lesbians in 1970, 71. <laughs> and uh, and I actually experienced Vertigo after the production of. Hashtag Shakespeare shitstorm was uh, was shot after the movie was shot. Uh, uh, but the next day, I woke up and the room was spinning, and uh, and I hadn't had anything to drink. It was just uh, whatever it was. I had to kind of I just stayed in bed for three days, and the vertigo went away. You know, I've, I've had hangovers where the room spins around, but uh, this was a to cold, cold sober vertigo. Pretty amazing. At any rate, uh, I'm getting old. That's the problem. Now. Well, you suffer for the art, Lloyd. You know, you've always suffered for the art. Well, at you least know? I've been able to make, I've been able for 40, 50, 50 years now. This is my 50th year. I've been able to make uh, uh, pretty much anything I want, uh, uh, just uh, confined by low budget. Other than that, I have total freedom. And nobody censoring, nobody telling me what to do, uh, except the fans. I do listen to fans, and uh, I do... Uh, 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 try to make the movie entertaining, but other than budget constrictions, I got total freedom, which is pretty good. A lot of these big time directors get one or two movies, and then when they start losing money, they're uh, that's the end of it. You know, they they finished. They get thrown away like old gloves. So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm in, trauma. I'm, I was going to say, Troma Entertainment is, uh, is in fact, the longest-running independent film studio, I think, in the world. 47 years and counting, right? 47 <laughs> years and counting, right? All thanks to our, fan, our fans who are incredibly... Uh, they book our movies in theaters. They, they act in the movies like you. They, they shoot the movies. Um, and they, uh, they also, all around the world, they book uh, movie theaters for uh, movies. And uh, we just had the uh, Troma Dance... Uh, the 21st annual Troma Dance Film Festival uh, at a, at a drive-in and on a giant screen. And uh, that we had last year the same thing. And uh, we, we did play hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm in the drive-in along with the films of uh, the new directors. Uh, and uh, it was a great way to get it, more people in to see the new directors' movies. So, uh, and the people love to hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. Now we got to. Now that the pandemic is winding down, uh, uh, we got to get some movie theaters. So, uh, is there any movie theaters in, in, that uh, you think might want to play? Uh, I can now travel too. My wife has given the commissioner has given me uh, permission to travel. In fact, I'm going to Omaha. I'm going to Omaha this Friday to be in a movie, and uh, a theater is playing. Uh, I think two trauma classics, and then I go to Bulgaria. A secret mission. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, speaking of that, uh, big big news just off the wire today. Uh, um, Elijah Wood is joining the production of uh, the Toxic Avenger remake. Can you give us any any info on that? That's been big news the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> well, it, it's not the first time I've had Wood, even though I'm 75 years old. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm as horny as ever here. So uh, I don't know why you're asking me about my personal life. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean the oh the actors, the actors? I uh, forgot about them. Yeah, oh, nice. He's great, and he and uh, 
he, oh, thank you, Kyle. And he, he and um, uh, 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 the director, Macon Blair, are very good buddies. And, uh, you know, they've worked together on several movies. So, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm really curious to know Elijah Wood and uh, uh, Peter Dinkage and, uh, you know, everybody in the movies. Yeah. Where were they when, uh, you know, they probably weren't born when, uh, I guess uh, Dinkage might be uh, 10 years he might have been 10 years old, maybe he saw the cartoon. I'm really interested in talking to them, and uh, uh, I would like to film them, but I'm not allowed uh, on set. I would love to uh, see what they actually think of the movie, uh, Toxic Avenger. When was the first time they saw it, if they saw it? Or did they just see it now, uh, now that they're in the, the uh, reimagining? Uh, the script is great. Um, the cast looks terrific. Uh, this uh, young woman from uh, Zola, uh, Fabulous actor, and uh, and and uh, the comedian uh, Judy Davis, who uh, I think I've met her in uh, England uh, once or twice. I'm pretty sure in the old days, long time ago. Uh, and uh, so I think they got a dynamite cast. I've read the script; it's terrific, much better than the original Toxic Avenger. And Macon Blair is a great guy. Uh, he loves trauma. He knows every detail. He's seen Terra Firma over, and you know he knows it. I don't want to tell you, say too much because uh, they, uh, I'm not supposed to. I'm not allowed to uh, to give out too much information. But I'm going to try to see if I can get a film on the set. They've said no. You know, I'd like to do my own little diary of behind the scenes, but uh, which I, you can see a lot of my diaries, a little short uh, on Guardians of the Galaxy and. And uh, Suicide Squad, and you know, I've been in, I've been in lots of movies. Uh, Troma now, our, our, um, our what do you call it? The platform, a streaming platform, has about a thousand movies and shorts and documentaries, and and of course your film, Eric and Mike. Uh, uh, hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm is going to theaters and festivals first, but uh, Return to Newcom High and Return to Return to Newcom High are both available on Troma now. Uh, and the first month is free, so you can pretty much watch everything. If you want to, you know, pull a real, <laughs> real binge, you can watch everything in the first month and then uh, uh, quit. Uh, but otherwise, it's only four ninety nine a month. And our fans have been real nice about supporting you. We have a lot of subscribers, but they're all fans. You know, it's not like Netflix, and, it, and a lot of people like Troma now better than Netflix. You go to watch dot trauma dot com and uh you can get on uh, it's free trauma now and there's a new app coming on Janu on uh, june 25th uh, literally next week uh, there'll be a new app which will permit you to go on uh, roku and uh, apple and two or three other major platforms so uh, i think your fans uh, that's really a way to support independent cinemas subscribe to trauma now Absolutely. Please, and uh, I, I was reading too, Lloyd, you, you guys signed to deal with the American uh, Genre Film Archive, and there's going to be over 70 titles that are going to be in theaters and in drive-ins throughout the summer and the rest of the year. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, AGFA, AGFA which, by the way, uh, was a, a, a kind of a 35 millimeter film that we would use uh, when Kodak got too expensive. Uh, AGFA would give us a better deal. And then we moved to Fuji, the 35 millimeter film. Uh, we started with Kodak, then we uh, Agfa gave us a much better deal, and then uh, Fuji gave us an even better deal. And uh, now, of course, we shoot digitally. Right. Yeah, but I don't it, think it, I think it's it's a different Agfa, right? This is Agfa, the archival people, not the. Uh, I don't, this is not the Agfa who had the film. I don't think. Right. Yeah, I yeah. think it's for the archive. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, that would be great. We would love to do uh, another event up here in New Hampshire, and I know uh, Harlow's Pub would love to have you back here in Peterborough. Uh, well, let's let's do it. Uh, book a theater, uh, get a theater, and I'll come up. Uh, uh, you can show hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. You guys curate the show. Or we could give you an agent's fee, and uh, you could uh, moderate the uh, Q and A and uh, do the whole thing again if you're willing. Uh, if you can get a theater to. Uh, 
to play it, uh, we'd be delighted. Yeah, I'd love to we'll drive yeah, up we there. Got, we got a theater right here in town in Peterborough, which is pretty much next to Harlow's, where we hung out that time last yeah, time right. you came to visit. So it could, could all could all be one one big night. I'm sure Dave, Mike, would 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 love to be part of that. Oh, great! Absolutely. Well, if there's a theater <laughs> that's willing to play, uh, also if there's a college or university that would like to have uh, my um, uh, master class, make your own damn movie master class. A lot of universities have booked me, and they they uh, have pretty good program departments. So there might be something there too. You guys can take an agent's fee and also. Yeah, I think it would be a lot of fun. I like that, Mike. Being being a bag man for Uncle Lloyd, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's really it's a dream, it's a dream come true. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. Yeah, it's always a well, good time. And <laughs> well, well, let's uh, let's make sure that happens. That would be great. Yeah, yeah the commissioner uh, bring the commissioner up. We'll get Toxy to appear and uh, and some Tromets, perhaps. If the commissioner <laughs> doesn't show up, uh, we'll get some Tromets. No, 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 no. We get it. Tromets, no matter what. Uh, Double D no dementia. Problem. I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> Double dementia. She's great. No. She's amazing. She came to the uh, trauma dance uh, in in costume. She came as uh, there was a lot of cosplay at trauma dance uh, uh, this year. Uh, Toxy, Sarah. There were two Sarahs. There, there were uh, also Harry Balls, the penis monsters, and there was now a uh, one of the Harry Balls. There were two Harry Balls. One was Mrs. Uh, from uh, you know, from uh, Tromeo and Juliet, the three foot penis monster. Somebody had made uh, made puppets of them, and uh, Mrs. Harry Balls was actually uh, keeping uh, her distance uh, and and was wearing a uh, mask made out of a prophylactic, which was uh, very beautiful. And the New York Times sent a reporter. Believe it or not, the New York Times, uh, the New York Nazi Times sent a reporter. To uh, to interview uh, Harry Balls and uh, Zach Amico and uh, oh, yeah. Wow, uh, yeah, very Zach's, exciting. Zach's been doing amazing. He was amazing on the set of Shitstorm too. And um, oh, he's uh, he's a he's, co-director. Yeah, he's he's been he's a brilliant comedian. And he's been doing amazing stuff and getting getting the uh, you know dues that he deserves. You know, he works really hard, and uh, I know that the comedy world is is a, is a tough tough thing. Hard, it's a harsh well, mistress. Well, they say that uh, to be a good stand-up comedian, I've seen a couple of documentaries, they all seem to agree that you need to put in 10 years of uh, staying in shitty motels and doing uh, dive bars and clubs and, uh, you know, moving every night. And uh, and then after 10 years, uh, if you're still there, you've got a good chance to make it, so they say. And Zach, is, his material gets funnier and funnier, so I, I think yeah. it'll be... And and he's, he's going to be very successful. He's just so quick too with his comebacks, and he's just yep. he's quick on the draw. So, um, yeah, yeah funny Zach, as hell. Zach's, it's and been, he it's been was cool. uh, he, he's the uh, my co director or associate director on this movie, so he did a lot of the a lot of the uh, directing, and uh, we we improvised a lot of this <laughs> stuff. Uh, so um, you know, he should have a writing credit. Maybe he does. I can't remember. But, yeah, uh, he, he's a major player. He's very talented. My, I think he will emerge as a big star, or, and he's staying with it. So, uh, oh yeah, you know. yeah. Mike and I just watched the movie about the um, native tribes, the, the the resident schools up in Canada. They had, you know, mm -hmm. that's all in the news right now about all the bodies they're finding, and for whatever reason, it led it led Mike. It reminded us of um, uh, Tra Tromahawk burial ground. Tra yeah, yeah. <laughs> isn't that something? Isn't guy? that yeah, and and Mike, we thought about the the uh, the Native American guy they had in uh, uh, Poultry Guys. When we, yeah, <laughs> what is the scene? He gives a speech, Mike, and then he just friggin' pukes, or they, they just have yeah, him and he pukes. Yeah. He's really yeah, drunk. He's yeah, so, so noble. He is so noble. The, the Native American, uh, and then uh, and and their bodies, the skeletons of right the uh, humus, the uh, very politically correct. Uh, yep, Arab is throwing the uh, skeletons of the. Uh, from the from the, the <laughs> graveyard that the fast food place the American chicken bunker is built on, tossing them into the uh, which is true, it happened. Look at the, the look at Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's what right? I'm saying. They're finding yeah. mass graves of, of uh, black people who were destroyed oh. hundred years ago. Yeah, what, did, what did Lloyd say, Mike? And behind the scenes, can we get Homus's prayer rug? Can we get yeah, our prayer rug? Where's the prayer rug? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, the, we love we love your diary and behind the scenes stuff. So poultry in motion might be my favorite. I mean, I no, think I mean, it's the, 
It, it, it's the funniest and the most tragic, I would say. Right? It I mean, is. It's sad, too. It's sad because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to make a movie, and then all around me is total chaos. And, um, uh, you know, people, uh, you know, and I, again, I look like an asshole. Uh, that's what makes it so, uh, you know, we have five or six of these uh, fe feature length documentaries, and they, they're all unvarnished truth. They all show, uh, yeah. you know, exact. And Poultry Guys, that thing is, oh. the, uh, every time we show it to an audience, is. They say, oh, hold on a second. Say good night. Say good night to Gina. Good night, Gina. Bye. Bye. What's that? I'll be here on Friday. I'll try to go. No, I'm flying to uh, to uh, uh, Omaha Friday. Gina will. The, the, this is. Uh, thank you, Gina. Oh. Keep up the good work. Have a nice weekend. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye. And um, was was poetry in motion, Mike, when Lloyd, when the girl was in the mask like all day, and they didn't end up getting to her scene, and Lloyd was like, oh, yeah, "You're you're great, you're doing great." And then when Lloyd walked off, you were just like, "Oh, she's awful." She <laughs> oh, no, that was the little girl who was dancing. Oh, the little oh, girl, yeah. Oh, she's awful. She's awful. She's just, she's just <laughs> terrible. She's like she's like doing the dance. Oh, it's got everything. It's got music. It's got romance. It's got fucking yeah. chicken zombies. It's a great it's movie. Great. I mean, it it really is. Is. That's the one one problem uh, Troma has is we're very under uh, appreciated because nobody I mean, knows it, except for you guys and uh, our fan base. We're really a classic cult movie studio, and uh, uh, we just uh, you know maybe the Toxic Avenger uh, big budget. Uh, you know they're spending billions of dollars. So Maybe, and I imagine they'll be spending a lot of money marketing it. So maybe that will uplift all the, you know, maybe the profile of trauma will rise and people will discover us. Uh, because Sarah Firmer, for example, which uh, Macon Blair, the director of the new movie, Toxie, the new Toxie movie, he loves, to, they all love Terra Firmer. But when it came out, it was a little too much for the, uh, uh, you know, and it also was very hard to publicize. The more time goes on, the more the industry is, under the thumb of fewer and fewer uh, uh, big conglomerates, uh, and there's only you know between uh, five or six giant uh, international media conglomerates and the various governments uh, who finance movies, there is no real uh, uh, opportunity for trauma. And the movie theaters in the United States and all over the world have pretty much consolidated into one or two chains. And they don't want to bother with the real independence because we make a movie maybe once a year and uh, they have to put it in their computer and then boom, 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 boom. Uh, so they'd rather play, uh, uh, you know, a movie from one of the cla one of the uh, vessels of the uh, conglomerates, you know, Sony Classics or, or, or Fox Searchlight or whatever. They are just vassals. They're not, those movies aren't going to change the world. The only movies that change the world are... Oh are the uh, true independent movie theaters. And Justin Martell is a fearless producer. By the way, Justin uh, and and John Brennan, I don't know if you, yeah, you met him on set, uh, who produced uh, Hashtag yeah, Shakespeare. awesome guy. Yeah, they're both awesome. And uh, they're both terrific. And they they are the producers of, uh, they've rehabilitated Joe Bob Briggs. Uh, he's, he's back uh, and he's huge. He's huge, thanks to those guys. They got him on... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they, they produced the, they pitched the show, the Shutter bought it, and uh, it's, it's doing the huge, huge uh, ratings. So good for them. Yeah, they're killing yeah. it with the last drive in for sure. Yeah. No, yeah, I, it's, I, really, it, it's terrific. Yeah, we're very proud of Justin. He's our, our great dear friend who we've known for, you know, almost 16 years since college. And uh, yeah, he's talk about another talent who really grinded and worked hard and, and yep. uh, is, is, is now. Yeah, with all the Tiny Tim stuff and, and all the stuff with Troma. And, yeah, it's it's been yeah. – we're very proud friends, for sure, to see that. And, he, uh, is, uh, he is a, <clears throat> he's very courageous, too, and, and decent. He's decent. You know, you, you always get a straight answer, which is in the movie business, you get things like, I did my best. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. Or you, oh, got, yeah. or you get uh, – most of them are discussed. You know, they're crooks, most of them. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, because they don't want to, you know, most of them go in the business to, uh, uh, you know, drive cars they don't own and have big houses they don't own and wave their dicks around to the other assholes. And they, 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 they the contracts mean nothing. They mean absolutely nothing. Right. Including, yeah, no, he... including uh, 
people who are currently, they change the deal on you. You know, you want your movie made? Well, we're not going to pay you what we said we'd pay you. That kind of stuff. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, I think the trauma ethos, I mean, uh, um, you know, and correct me if I'm wrong, you actually, you, you paid for your own flight back in the day to go be inside the bar in Rocky after you got carried in by Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> and that's yes. what, that's how you inspire folks like us. To, you're like, just make it to the set. You're going to be in the movie. Uh, we know you're dedicated, you have the passion, and you're, you're going to make it happen. So I actually just rewatched Rocky for the first time in years. And, and the, the, the little cameo as the drunk, is it's it's epic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was the only time I actually uh, uh, tried to get, uh, you know, use method acting. I got totally shit-faced. And, and, and it didn't work. I did bad acting. And John G. Avelson, the director, came over to me uh, and showed me, he literally, uh, you know, you know, he show, showed me how to be drunk. Uh, and uh, I just mimicked what he did. And uh, the secret is that you, you, uh, the people who are way drunk, they, uh, they, 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 they try, they don't believe that they're drunk. You know, they, they think they're in control of everything. And, uh, and uh, it's hard to verbalize, but uh, he, he did it in 30 seconds, and uh, I got it right, according to Evelson. He also mentioned me when he got his Oscar, because uh, we uh, we put the Philadelphia stuff together uh, kind of as a low-budget, uh, un under-the-radar, non-union uh, movie. <laughs> and uh, after eight days of filming, where we got all those great location shots and scenes, and also the uh, several interiors, the uh, truck drivers, the Teamsters Union found us. And in those days, they were pretty uh, nasty. Uh, so at the eighth, eighth day, uh, uh, Stallone and uh, the director and uh, uh, Burgess Meredith, uh, two or three actors, and uh, I, they had a production manager. They all went back to California. But they had all this marvelous stuff that cost nothing. And uh, uh, you know, and and the budget of Rocky was very, very low, as I'm, as I'm sure you know, it was uh, about a million bucks. So they couldn't have, they couldn't have shot in uh, Philadelphia with a union uh, crew. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, somehow, somehow, when the movie was made, uh, and the union guys came to see it, <laughs> they were wondering where did all this great footage come from. <laughs> so I think there, there may have been some fines. By the way, here's a. Can you read this? Uh, this uh, sack face for New York City mayor. Oh, I promise so to kill every podcaster in Brooklyn. <laughs> is he running against Andrew Yang? <laughs> yeah, this is it. The only cow, the only candidate willing to do what New York needs. So we have our own. Uh, we're involved in politics too. It's interesting to see if they're. Oh, thank you, John. Oh, thank you, Tom. Yeah, I won't be in. Uh, uh, I'm not going to come in on. By the way, that's Tom. Tom hey there, Tom. He's he's wearing the very fashionable weird deer uh, T-shirt, which I think we're going to be producing pretty soon. Uh, oh, very nice. very exclusive. Uh, and um, uh, trauma people. In fact, you met a, a lot of these people uh, on the uh, set of uh, of uh, hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. Uh, a number of the people who worked on that have started their own company shithouse productions and if i'm fortunate i may get to uh, can you see the uh, beautiful yeah. weird deer it's a uh, deer that uh, you know in the same way a werewolf uh, transforms this is a, a deer is bambi but uh, different uh, thank you tom uh, D'Amico. so he's associate producer of shakespeare's shitstorm among other things so i won't be in friday or uh, i probably won't be i might be in tomorrow but i'm Nice. See, you don't get that from Martin Scorsese. Tom D'Amico has a dentist appointment. He's, see, that's how real we are here. That's how real, real we are. Real we are here at Tomerville. No, no, take care of your teeth. You end up like me. <laughs> oh, did he mute it? We lose the sound there, Lloyd. Yeah, we lost the sound. Yeah, we lost I your think... sound. <laughs> can't you can't hear you? <laughs> Some technical difficulties, folks. We're just uh, working this out here. This is live. We're doing it live. <laughs> so.
want to make sure we get that off of mute. Oh. oh, hello, hello. There you okay, are. Good. There you good. are. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. Um, you mentioned uh, sugar out. cookies earlier. Was that the one you co-wrote with Oliver Stone, or what was the title that you uh, wrote with Oliver Stone? No, he 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 was associate producer on Sugar Cookies. Uh, oh, okay. We made. Uh, um, he helped me with Battle of Love's Return. I don't think we wrote anything together, uh, but he did okay. write a, uh, a, 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 a he did write a script uh, which he presented to Michael Hers called Le Chateau, the Castle, and in it uh, Oliver Stone gets uh, how shall I say it. Uh, Rear door, uh, back door entry from his father, uh, and uh, this was oh, back in the seventies. And Michael Hurst and I didn't quite think this was very good for any of us. But yeah. um, uh, Oliver was uh, right on the sugar cookies. He told me I should be directing it, and uh, we raised all the money for sugar cookies. And then these older guys, who were um, uh, I was listening to, unfortunately, who I I, I should have. Uh, directed it. Oliver was, Oliver was right. And, uh, he, uh, and he's extremely, obviously extremely talented. Every movie yeah, I, I've seen of his is, is, uh, really wonderful. Yeah. yeah. One They're of the ones I like the, I mean, I, the most, uh, maybe the, the one he, about Alexander. Oh yeah. With Colin Farrell. From, oh, uh, yeah. Say it again. Yeah. I think Colin Farrell was. Yeah, say, it, say it again. What you were going to say. Yeah. He, the, the, or, or, um, or the other guy, Angela uh, Frangelina, uh, what's his name? The one oh, who's in uh, Quentin Tarantino's movie. Uh, it was either he or it was one of them, and the, the hair was dyed red. But all of his movies are great, and I, I, it's very possible that the version I saw of Alexander was chopped up by the studio. But uh, all his movies, uh, I mean, they've all been wonderful. But uh, Did you ever see Year of the Dragon that he wrote with Mickey Rourke? Never saw it, no. Is it... Is it uh, is it uh, 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 directed by Oliver? Uh, he wrote it. Uh, Michael Cimino ah. directed it. Uh, oh, I, well, it was, yeah, filmed in New York City, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a that's one of my favorites. But yeah, we, we love Oliver Stone, and uh, that's cool that you guys you know Yale classmates along with uh, George W. Bush too, right? We were second grade classmates, Oliver Stone and I, and uh, uh, right, just as he was, uh, uh, I can't. I, I man, he managed. I either, like, we managed to uh, have a bit of a contretemps, uh, just as he was about to win an Oscar for Midnight uh, Express. So we haven't seen a lot of each other uh, <laughs> since. And I tried to get him to be on the DVD of Sugar Cookies. Uh, and uh, I don't even think we could get a, a no. I don't think we even got a fuck you or nothing. Oh, but, oh really? Uh, oh. He's a... He's a, he's a He's a maniac, and he's sucking, he, he's sucking uh, the dick of a, of a, of a, of Putin from Russia, he's, right? Uh, if you've seen that, uh, seen some yeah. of that. Uh, the Putin tapes are fascinating. You know, he, he, he went. Yeah, he's over he went there. to Vietnam, he was all gung ho. He was all gung ho to kill the gooks, and when he came back from Vietnam, he got he thought that he saw where the wind was blowing, and he became left wing. And now he's sucking a dictator's uh, uh, dick, uh, which I don't find very attractive. So uh, I say fuck him. <laughs> but he's extremely talented. <laughs> Every movie I've seen of him. Well, you know, a lot of great directors are, are Howard Hawks beat up women. John Ford used to make fun of John Wayne and call him a Nancy boy and a, a fag. Uh, you know, the Chaplin was uh, how many... Chaplin was accused of, of, of pedophilia. He was exonerated, uh, and and uh, they, they kicked him out of the United States for being a, a commie, which he wasn't. Uh, you know, so a lot of these directors have, uh, uh, you know, Louis C.K. isn't the first person to get canceled. Uh, a lot of people got hurt during the blacklist, and uh, for, and uh, also a lot of artists like Picasso. He beat up his women. Uh, you know, uh, uh, being an artist, uh, nobody's perfect. And unfortunately, artists can be very, very imperfect. And, uh, all, uh, you know, uh, uh, on any Sunday, I love that film. And I love the scene in the locker room, which is so Oliver Stone with the blonde, the beautiful blonde woman who owns the uh, football team. And she's in the locker room with these big, muscular, sweaty, 
Pilates, as if she's a, a, a circus owner, you know, or zoo owner. She's, you know, her livestock. I mean, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's it's, it's so real and uh, yet crazy. You know, he is. He's, 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 I'd say he's very brilliant, but, you know, unfortunately a little too crazy for my wife and me, so we had to <laughs> oh, go a different different way, a different way in the old days. Yeah, yeah sometimes you got to go your own way, and, and uh, yeah, I think he's got a new JFK documentary coming out, too, that should be out this year. But oh, he's, good, he's having, tr- good. he's having trouble okay. getting United States distribution, <clears throat> which is not well, surprising. who isn't? You know, that's a... Right? No, we're going through a terrible... This is a terrible era we are living in. Uh, we have, uh, how do you say it? We have freedom of speech as, as long as we don't say anything. And uh, we've lost a lot of good people. Al Franken was a great senator, uh, doing a lot for, for women, doing a lot for poor people. He's gone. We had uh, uh, Louis C.K. Louis C.K., they did him a favor. <laughs> he, he, he gets $5 a pop and millions of people watch his own uh, the private... Uh, you know, he's got, he's like trauma, except he's got a huge following. And, uh, you know, a lot of these people who got canceled, uh, it was unfair, you know. As I say, it's it's a very cruel world. And the university life it sounds awful uh, today. The uh, yeah. Nobody wants to listen to anybody. They don't teach, they don't teach debating anymore, at, uh, as far as I can see, at school or in college. And uh, it's either, you, you know, as, as Bush said, uh, you're either with me or against me, and that that isn't uh, the right way. Uh, you know, well, safe spatio is a very real there's thing, Lloyd. No nuance anymore. Right? Yeah, yeah, safe yes. spatio. <laughs> it's, you, you, I mean, it's okay. so it's <laughs> so it's so dead on, true. Lloyd. I mean, I, see, in all seriousness, all the the messages from hashtag Shakespeare shitstorm are you know just they hit home, man, and they're they're more prevalent and pertinent than ever. I, I, I have to admit, when I saw the screen on this huge uh, drive-in screen, when I saw hashtag Shakespeare on the big drive-in screen, and uh, as the last 20% of it is uh, unspooling, I was thinking to myself, holy shit, this is pretty pretty harsh stuff. I wonder if people are going to get out of their cars and, uh, uh, you know, the, the drive-in exists in a fairly rural uh, area and i was thinking eek but everybody loved it they they, they really enjoyed it so uh, you know that um i, I, I had a two two hours i had a two hours spending in line uh, people coming up for autographs and wow. photographs and uh, after the movie at least and, and the first night of trauma dance uh, i signed until about i didn't get to see any movies as a uh, people you know again i might i give away autographs and photographs so uh, but still, people really love uh, trauma. Yeah, well, I mean, it just it, it 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 really spoke to what's going on right now with the stifling of speech and uh, exchanging ideas. I mean, Zach brilliantly played that big blonde blocker uh, chick who's based on a real real woman, right? Yeah. And, and right, she was, right, right, right. All well, fired up. The, she complains because. What? Go on. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Say it again. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's he's Zach sitting at the desk eating all the chicken from um, uh, poultry geist, and and uh, you know he just cap- he captured it so brilliantly. He just captured those kind of people brilliantly, and and, and it, oh, yeah, it, it, it's just it was oh, so well done. Just well, so well done. The the warriors come out to play. That can eat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what what's the name of that comedian again? She we discovered. I discovered her because she wrote an op-ed piece for the New York Times. Where, where, where she is whines about the fact that uh, audiences aren't laughing at her. And the problem is she wasn't funny. Uh, now she's got a TV show or some, something. I don't know. But anyway, she, 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 she had all the uh, politically correct uh, uh, points. And, uh, and she's uh, making an happen on the, uh, being a, uh, you know, a, a perfect uh, a politically correct, non-triggering, uh, boring uh, comedian. So, what are you going to do? But she's a well, she's she's a lot more successful than I am. So, uh, you know, say what you will. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if she'll ever see the movie. <laughs> <If> she, uh, <laughs> be interested to know what she thinks. Yeah, yeah she can write a I, review I about I, it. I can't. I can't remember her name, but uh, you know, we'll we'll get the theater in L.A. We'll get a theater here in New York. Uh, 
you know, we'll, and we'll get about, uh, if I direct a movie, I can get about 200 theaters, um, usually uh, one weekend of trauma movies or, uh, uh, you know, with Shakespeare Shitstorm as the premiere movie. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, or maybe just one night, you know, like at your theater or whatever. So, um, but, uh, you know, we'll have the theaters, we'll have enough, and uh, hopefully uh, that'll get some good reviews and we've been in some festivals, but the pandemic didn't help us. That's for sure. <laughs> no, no, that was, uh, that was, that's been a real drag. And well, Lloyd, we're coming up on the five o'clock hour. Um, obviously yeah. with the, the yeah. Toxic yeah. Adventure call. remake that you're producing, do you have anything else you want to plug before we let you go? Well, I would really, it'd be really great because we're uh, running on the memory of fumes. Uh, trauma uh, is a, a Best way to support Troma is subscribe to Troma now. And right now you go to watch.troma.com. First month is free, and that's only four ninety five a month. And starting June twenty fifth, on or, on or about, uh, we'll have this app that'll get you onto uh, uh, four of the major, uh, you know, the Roku's of the world: uh, Apple, Roku, uh, the two or three others. I just can't remember. So subscribe at four ninety nine, and because it's possible the price might go up because this, this app costs a lot of money. So now's the time to subscribe. Excellent. Well, and we really book, uh, get a theater to play. Uh, if any of you, if any of your listeners live uh, near a movie theater that plays uh, in, uh, truly independent movies, uh, 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 please, uh, you know, contact contact uh, Mike uh, and Eric, <laughs> and. Uh, Book a theater, and uh, Uncle Lloyd will uh, will go there, and the we'll commissioner with me. Bring the commissioner. fantastic. We will definitely. We'll uh, yeah, we'll get Justin Martell. Uh, we'll come up there and uh, traumatize again. That'd be great. Harper's and Harper's was great. I mean, Arlo's was great. That was yeah. That was really a lot of fun. Absolutely, yeah. Well, we appreciate your time, Lloyd. Thanks for coming on with us, and um, you know, just keep keep rocking and rolling. You're, you know. Your movies are awesome. You know, we, we, we love them. We love everything you do, and we appreciate you. You're, you're a legend, Lloyd. Thank you, Lloyd. Well, you guys are awesome, and it's all thanks to our fans and Justin Martell. So uh, uh, give Justin a hard time. <laughs> oh, we will. <laughs> all right. All well, righty. Well, care, thanks Lloyd. a lot, and best wishes. And when you're in New York, uh, come back and visit to the Choma building. And uh, you, probably if we're in town, you're welcome to stay with us. That'd be great. You no, know, my Absolutely. wife and I have uh, the uh, our children have all uh, fled, so we have extra bedrooms <laughs> that probably have uh, Eric and Mike's name right on them, ready to be uh, awesome. the uh, Ramada Inn for you. Your own <laughs> Ramada Inn, your own bed and breakfast, but free. Oh, my battery's running out. I better stop. So, talk right. to you soon, and thank you so much, and all love right. to all you and your fans. All right, Lloyd. thank you. Love you, Lloyd. Hashtag Take Google care. Love. All right. All right. Hash, Take care. I love you and hashtag mention ha mention hashtag truth and love. Okay. Hashtag truth and love. Hashtag that's that's my little secret. All righty. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks, okay, Lloyd. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. That was Lloyd Kaufman, the founder of Troma Entertainment and the creator of the Toxic Avenger, the legendary director, um, <coughs> actor. Lots of fun, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. That was great. So uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. Click that subscribe button. Share this. Like it. Check us out on all socials, and we'll see you next time on Jackman Radio. Peace out. Hello.